Welcome to Crafts Hawaii again. I know it's been a while, but I had some viewers and comments saying that they had a hard time hearing me. So I invested in a mic and hopefully it'll be better. Um, as you can see, I have some shirts out here that I've made. They're dry fit, polyester, so they don't wrinkle, they don't shrink. Uh, I made these shirts so that people who wanted some, because I was requested by some people that wanted me to make some shirts so that they could have something to wear, whether they're golfing or just going out or going to Vegas. So as you can see, these shirts say Craps Hawaii right here with dice on it. See if I can get you a better picture of it. They come in red and black. On the sleeves, you can see they say staying alive. And has the islands of Hawaii. This one is in black. And this is what's on the sleeve. Hopefully you can see it. So, um, anyway, people wanted me to make some shirts, so I did. Right now, they have black and red, and maybe later on, dip more different colors, but they're good shirts, they're quality shirts, polyester, never going to wrinkle, never going to shrink. They're dry fit, so they're good for golfing or if you're out in the sun. Also, um, just I wanted to say that my classes, if students that come and they take five classes or, or more, at least five classes, I'll give them a free shirt. Uh, the classes are very reasonable. They're like $20 for 45 minutes to an hour, and I'm not trying to make any money. I just like to promote the game of craps. Uh, I enjoy playing it, so I'd like to teach it and as a promotion for people who want to take classes. You take five classes, and you get a free shirt. Otherwise, if you just want to buy the shirt, they're $20. Okay, so thanks for uh, watching and keep in mind that I appreciate all your comments, your subscribers, your viewing. I, I appreciate all of that. Today, I just wanted to show the difference between the pass line bets and the place bets. Somebody uh, requested just a short explanation on what's the difference between a pass line bet and a place bet. <clears throat> so a short explanation would be if you, if you place a place line bet, uh, if you place a pass line bet, and you know, just let's say for now we're just showing five dollars because it's simple to explain. On the come out rule, you're gonna be looking for a seven or eleven so that you could win on the pass line. And then if a number is established, you're gonna put odds in the back, and let's just say it's double odds for now. I know that I know that casinos have three, four, five, some of them are double odds, some of them are 10 times odds, but just for explanation wise, I'm gonna say that, you know, we have $5, we have $10 pass line. <clears throat> so, as a player, you only have to bet the pass line if you're gonna roll the dice. If you're not rolling the dice, you don't have to bet the pass line. You can play the pass line, but you don't have to. Okay, so the pass line, like I'm trying to explain to you, is that you have to put a, a bet on the pass line if you're a shooter. If you're not, you don't have to, but a lot of people follow the shooter, and so they play the pass line. And then when the dice is rolled, they'll put odds in the back. Okay, so I don't know if I should throw the dice. Let's just see what the dice is doing. Okay, so four. So the point would become established, you would have a pass line bet, hoping for a 7 or 11, and you would win even money on the pass line. 2, 3, or 12, and you would lose the pass line. Okay, so now 
You have five dollars on the pass line. The point is established. It's a four. And so now you put odds in the back of your pass line. <clears throat> okay. So now on a place bet, you could play 64 across. You could play 44 inside, whatever. So let's put, for now, we'll just play, let's say, right across for 32 dollars okay so now you have every number out here placed over there you have a pass line bet okay and the only reason I laid out this many numbers is to show number for number the difference between the pass line and the place bet okay most time people some people would place like this across 32 across some people play the pass line and they'll play take out the four because they already got on a pass line right and they're only gonna play five to ten so let's say the four is rolled like we did okay four is ro rolled <coughs> the four is made so if the four is made you get paid even money on the pass line and you get paid two to one for your odds in the back so you got ten dollars you get paid then twenty dollars okay two to one so for your fifteen dollar bet you made twenty five dollars okay now if you had fifteen dollars over here the same amount that you had placed here now the five on the pass line and the ten dollars you had in the back if you had fifteen dollars over here it pays nine to five so you get paid twenty seven dollars over here you get paid twenty seven dollars for this bit whereas over here you're only getting paid twenty five dollars okay so that's a difference with the four on the pass or on the place okay that's difference there now let's take this back And let's say now, and I'll just leave the, you know, the odds bet up. And now let's say your point road is a five. So point road now five. So I told you the difference between the four and now we're gonna work to the five, okay? So the difference between the place over here and the pass over there on the four, you saw the difference, right? Over there you got $25, over here you got $27. So now the, the point they say is five. So now you got $15 over there. The payoff for $15 when the five is made is always the, the pass line is even money. So you get paid $5 even money. And in the back, you would get paid three for every two that you got bet. So you got paid, you got two bet here, we're gonna pay you three. So at fifteen dollars, okay. So for a five, if you had a pass line bet, it's gonna pay you twenty dollars. A five over here, if you had fifteen dollars, which was the five on the pass and the ten dollars that you put out, fifteen dollars over here would pay you twenty-one dollars. Okay. You get paid twenty one dollars. So you make a dollar more for the five. And again, like I said, you can pick what number you want. Okay. So now let's say the point is now a six. And then you have a place, a pass line bet of five odds, okay? So now, you would get paid 
six dollars for every five dollars you got in a bet. Okay, that's on a pass line bet. So that means you would get paid twelve dollars for your ten dollars in the back and five dollars even money in the front. Okay, so you got paid a total of seventeen dollars. But you have fifteen dollars that you put up to win seventeen. Now because the six and eight has to be bet in increments of six. I'm going to put the $15 that you have there, but because I got a bet in increments of six, I'm going to make this have to add $3 more because for every five, you know, it got to be in increments of six. So it'll be six, 12, and 18. Okay, so I have to bet $18 because you had 15 there. So for $18 over here, I get paid 21. get paid $21 for $18 on the six. <clears throat> you got paid $17. So over here, yeah, I put up $3 more because I have to bet in increments of sixes, but I made $4 more than what you made out there. So I still made a dollar more. Okay, you understand? So by the place bet, still made a dollar more, right? Because I had to, I made 21, you made 17, but I had to add $3. So I had four dollars more than you, so took back three dollars. I made a dollar more. So the place bets made more money than what you're making on the pass line bet. Okay, although it's just a dollar more, but we're talking small, small increments. I mean, we we're betting by the hundreds over here, hundred dollar, hundred dollar, hundred ten. Then that would be maybe five, ten dollars more than what you made on, on the pass line bet, okay? So that's the reason, or I should say the difference between a pass line bet and a place bet, okay? And I didn't show you the eight, nine, and 10 because it pays the same as the, the four and the 10 pays the same, five and nine pays the same, six and eight pays the same. And I showed you the difference between each one. Okay, so the other thing is, <coughs> when you have a pass line bet, you cannot remove that pass line bet. You can remove your odds that's in the back, but you can never remove this pass line bet. Okay, that's a contract bet, and you can never take that off. Your odds, you can pick it up, but not your pass line bet. These bets up here that are place bets, you can pick them all up at any time, okay? Any time you can pick these bets up, okay? And this one other thing, you know, I wanted to show is that when, let's say, you know, I'm out here and I'm including the point on my on my place bets, okay? A lot of times the, the point comes out and because I have all the numbers here, I'm gonna include the point, right? So if the number was thrown and the point became a five, I have the five also as the point, just like the pass line does, okay? But let's say it was double odds that they're playing so you got a $5 bet, you get double odds is 10. Out here, let's say the nine gets thrown, right? So if the nine gets thrown here, and I do have the five covered here, the nine gets thrown here, it pays $7, right? It pays $7. So if I wanted to press up my five over here, I could press it up with the money that I want from any one of these bets out here and press this bet up. And if it hits again, I can press it up again, okay? But over here, if the, the max bet is double odds, you cannot raise that bet. You cannot raise your odds in the back unless you add more money to the front, which will pay you even money. So if you wanna raise that bet up, you need to put another $5 on top of the front bet 
to add another five or ten dollars in the back okay and you're gonna get paid even money over here I don't have to add to any front bit to uh, to start pressing out my five you know let's say that I didn't press up the five the first time let's say I pressed up the nine okay now the nine comes again and now nine pays fourteen dollars pays fourteen dollars I could take fifteen ten dollars of this and, and put it on my five and I pressed it up three already okay so that's I can you know if this gets higher I could press this up again higher and higher you would have to keep putting money in the front to add it to your back okay so I, I don't want to get too deep into this anyway but that's why there are differences between place bets and pass line bets and like I said unless you you playing in a place where they, they say no up you can bet 10 times odds or 100 times odds or 20 times odds then the only time that you're going to get paid more on your pass line bet with your odds in the back is if you're betting more than five times odds then you would be making more money than the the place bet that's i mean that's the only way other than that if you're not betting that kind of money it's better for you to place your bets because you can pick which numbers you want you don't have to rely on whatever number shows up well that's your number okay so anyway that was just a short short session on the question that i was given from one of my viewers what's the difference between the pass line and the place bets okay once again you know i'd like to thank all of you my viewers um, for your comments and subscribing to my channel um, I'm happy you know I, I'll answer any comments that you have if you have anything that you'd like to see any video that you uh, would like me to make to show you something and you have a question go ahead and email it to me or put it in your comment if you want to order any shirts you can email it to me and I'll get back to you so anyway I, I'm glad you folks been watching the videos hope you really liked it and like I said any more questions or comments that you need please subscribe for your new uh, viewers thank you very much have a good day